The objective of this video is to demonstrate that the center of gravity of objects always tend to the lowest point possible in order to reach rest. Everybody knows that an object tends to roll down an inclined plane with increased speed if friction or other conditions allow this. Because the force of earth gravitation is applied to the object and pulls it downwards to the lowest point possible, like this. But can an object without any external or internal source of energy climb up a slope by itself? Look at these diverging inclined rails. In order to prove that the rails are indeed inclined, we are going to show that this cylinder rolls down with increased speed. Okay, and again. Now, look at this double cone and how it climbs up the inclined rails. Again. This happens because the diverging structure of the rails enable the center of gravity of the double cone to go down, whereas at the same time, the double cone itself climbs up the rails. In this case, the center of gravity of the double cone is lowered more by the diverging structure than it is raised by the climbing process. This could be demonstrated if we measure the height of the double cone's axis at the lower end of the inclined rails and compare it to the height at the upper end then we will see that the height at the upper position is smaller, not as one would expect. For example, the height of the axis at the lower end is 17 centimeters, whereas at the higher end, it is only 15 centimeters, two centimeters less. Now look at this wheel. Can it climb this inclined table by itself? It seems impossible. Let's try it. Okay, we have been right. The wheel, if it moves at all, it rolls down as expected. But only one moment, please. Wow! A miracle! The wheel climbed up the inclined table by itself, but how the wheel did it? Have a look. This small object is the secret, okay? A, a small heavy object, in this case a magnet, is placed on the rim of the wheel. And when the wheel is set to climb, Heavy object is placed at this position. The blue circle, okay? This position enables the force of gravity to pull the heavy object down 
and and by that also to rotate the wheel which climbs the inclined plane at the same time. Stabilizes after moving, moving back and forth for a while. When the heavy object comes to a rest at the lower point possible, where the rim of the wheel touches the table, again the blue circle. In the case of the wheel, as was the case with the double cone, by climbing the plane, the wheel's center of gravity, which is located now near the small heavy object and not at the middle of the wheel goes more down than the ascending process takes it up. To sum up, the center of gravity of objects always tends to the lowest point possible in order to reach rest or equilibrium. Although we sometimes might be confounded, as we have seen, gravity is not.